Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tapan and I'm back with a new video. Are you someone who is studying right now in Canada as an international student? Yes. Do you want to switch your college or are about to finish your first program and want to transfer to a second or even a third program? Yes. Do you want to save lots of money? Yes. Do you want to sit at home and get the work done for your immigration journey by admission experts and immigration lawyers? Yes. Well then, listen to me. Help is a free online platform which helps students get accepted into their dream colleges and universities. If you have already completed your program and would like to continue your education in order to gain more points for PR or even get a longer PGWP, well, help can make that come true. They can also help you with discovering and getting acceptance into the best programs in the province you want to study in, which is close to your friends or family. They ensure that the programs and educational institutions are in good standing with IRCC and they are PGWP eligible. Ones that level up your education and your career trajectory. They can also help you extend your study visa with the help of RCIC and immigration lawyers that are partnered up with help. This includes updating IRCC and study permits to ensure that no violations occur. Help and their Canadian coaches are online and convenient. They know that you are busy managing your studies with your part-time job. Let your help coach do all the work so that you can gain acceptance into your second program from the comfort of your home by only using your phone or computer. Don't stress about study permit extensions or LOAs. Focus on your current classes and job and let help do the rest. And guess what? As I said, all of this is completely free and online. Use the first link in the description box below and in the pinned comment to sign up for it today. Just give it a shot. With that said, let's get right onto the video. CRS calculator. So what is a CRS calculator and why do you need it? Why do you need to understand how to use it? Now, if you're someone who's planning on becoming a permanent resident in Canada, you will have several pathways for becoming a PR. One of which is through express entry. In express entry, there are several ways in which the IRCC can invite a candidate to become a permanent resident. How do you calculate how much score you have? Because let's say you have 500 points, okay? And the IRCC conducts a draw with the cutoff of 550. In that case, you cannot become a permanent resident to give you just a gist. It depends on which pathway under express entry you are eligible for. Are you eligible for CEC, PNP, FSW, FST, or now they have even started category based draws. We won't delve into the details of all of that in this video. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the CRS calculator to know what points uh, you have and where you stand as compared to the current cutoff scores. So I think we need to move on to the laptop. Let's go. See on the screen, this is the website which is called Comprehensive Ranking System CRS tool skill immigrants, right? I'll leave the link for this website in the description box below. So yeah, don't worry about it. The first thing that you will be asked is what is your marital status? Now my marital status is single. Uh, how old are you? I am 21 years old. I will turn 22 in December. You know, I'm a December born, so I always turn 22, 23 or late. Okay. Um, what is your level of education? Enter the highest level of education for which you earned a Canadian degree, diploma or certificate. Very important. Canadian. Okay. So mine is a bachelor's degree. Now, Many people are confused. Even though I did an advanced diploma, here people see that it says two year program at university. No, mine is three years. Bachelor's degree, it's not a bachelor's degree. But sometimes you need to read into it properly, okay? It says bachelor's degree, three or more year program at a university, college, trade, or technical school or other institute, right? So even though it's not called a bachelor's degree, it's still a three year program at a college. Understood? So if you did advanced diploma, you gotta select that option. If you did a diploma two year program, you select that. Have you earned a Canadian degree, diploma or a certificate? Yes, I did. Yes. 
choose the best answer to describe this level of education. It is a diploma of three years or longer. Official language. Uh, are, this is for your IELTS and French. Are your test results less than two years old? C. I mean, yes. Uh, which language test did you take for your first official language? IELTS. In speaking, I got 7.5. In listening, I got 9. In reading, I got 9. And in writing, I got 7.5. So, uh, do you have other language results? No, I don't know how to speak French. I wish I did, but I did not learn. Now, with that said, uh, work experience. In last 10 years, how many years of skilled work experience in Canada do you have? I have more than one year, but I'll just put one year in here for now. Uh, in last 10 years, how many years of total foreign? Nothing. Useless. Uh, do you have certificate of qualification from a Canadian province? I do not have a certificate of qualification. If you want to know what a certificate of qualification is, you can read this part, pause the video, read that. All right, additional points. Do you have a valid job offer supported by LMIA? At the moment, no. Do you have a nomination certificate from a province or territory? I do not have a provincial nomination, no. In Ontario for me, no, I don't think it's happening. Um, do you have or do you or your spouse or common law partner have at least one, one brother or sister living in Canada who is a citizen or permanent resident? No, my brother is in India. Calculate my score. Now, when that happens, your results, you see your score based on your IELTS level of education, age, and all the other factors. Yeah, my score is Comprehensive Ranking System Formula Grand Total 474 with one year of work experience. Now, let's make a change. Let's say I complete my two years of work experience with the same IELTS that I have right now. I will have 499 points, which is fantastic. Now, you might be thinking that, oh, Tapan is just a few 10, 20, 50 point difference, not a biggie. It is a biggie. You know why? Let me show you something. Because the reason why it's a biggie is because look at the CRS cutoff 486, 486, 488, 488, 484, 490, <clears throat> for no program specified draws, for provincial nomination 691. So the score does not go down very quickly uh, in the cutoffs, but in your profile, if you even have a little bit less in IELTS, score goes down psh, like GameStop stock crashing, you know, uh, that it is that bad. So you need to make sure that your cutoff score, your personal CRS score is at least close or higher than the uh, what the cutoff is going on right now. As you can see from my my profile, I had I have 474 and then I'll have 499. So the cutoff is 486 right now, which is very, which is relatively closer to my existing score and less than what I will have when I complete two years of work experience, which is good because that sort of, you know, kind of uh, gives me assurance that I will get the permanent residency sooner or later. So this is how you do it. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take it easy. Jen.